incredibly basic. If you want to add more uh, sections than I have in there, which the default is 20, uh, it takes a little bit more effort, but once you see how easy it is, you can add as many sections or chapters as your little heart desires. So most of the work happens in tables. And table one is where the uh, chapter text is found and where the table of contents text is found. So you can see in column two, uh, these are the different uh, chapter headings and uh, these automatically fill in on the table of contents page. To change any of them, you just double click on it and you can copy and paste into that field and you're good to go. The same goes for the chapter text you can just uh, double click on that and either type in your text which is a little bit more difficult uh, what I do is I use a text editor or a word program and because my books were already written and published I just copied and pasted right out of there into these fields you do need to replace the indentations or the paragraphs with your own single spacing just I use five spaces and it recognizes and works just fine but again as you as you uh, copy and paste into there it does all of the formatting it knows what chapter it's going to be and again up to 20 chapters uh, you don't need uh, to add anything else or change it if you're below 20 chapters you don't even have to get rid of let's say you only have 14 chapters you don't have to get rid of these other chapters because all you have to do is go into the initial scene right here and then once you're in the initial scene please open there you go you go into the control right here and the key to this functionality is right here this go to TOC rule now what's happening in the template is when you arrow forward or backwards it's just changing the chapter number. It's going from chapter one to chapter two, chapter three, etc. And when you're arrowing backwards, it's reducing the chapter number. So what this rule right here does is it tells it how many chapters there are all together. So you can see right now, I say when uh, the game chapter is equal to zero or it is equal to or greater than 21, then change the scene to the table of contents. So if you're on the first chapter and you arrow key backwards, that changes the chapter number to zero and it automatically goes to the table of contents. When you're arrow keying forward, going from chapter one to two to three, when you get to chapter 21, because I only have 20 chapters in this template right now, when it sees 21 it goes to the table of contents so if you have 15 chapters in this template all you have to do is change this number right here to 16 and it will disregard everything else in the table now if you have more chapters than that then you need to change this number let's say you have 25 chapters then you need to change this number to 26 so if I'm gonna go and add more chapters I just again go into table one and I will just add more rows and I will copy and paste in the text and I will copy and paste in the table of contents then from there I go into the initial scene and I go back into the control and I make that adjustment for how many chapters I have and again if I have uh, 25 chapters then this number right here needs to be 26 you don't ever have to mess with the chapter 0 because that one is obvious so once you have added extra um, chapters and sections and you've made this change then you also need to make a couple of changes within the uh, initial scene and also on the table of contents so let's go back here to the initial scene all of the text in this template is held in this all of the chapter text is held right here in the chapter text box and if I double click on that you'll see the functionality here each chapter has three possibilities and that is because we have built in the possibility for a small font a medium font and a large font so when you go into chapter one you can see here 
that the attribute says when game chapter equals one and game font equals one then we go down here to the display text it says go to table one grab uh, row one of column one and that is of course my chapter one and my column one and then it sets the font here and then so if you see if you go down here to the next call the next one the medium font it says when game chapter equals one then the and the game font equals two then you go again you grab the exact same table the exact same row and the exact same uh, column the only thing that changes here is the size instead of 14 it's now 16 and again within the same section you go to the large font and you'll see when game chapter equals one and game font equals three you still grab table one 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 you just change the font to 18. so that's how the mechanism is set up so that everything appears on exactly the same page there's no scene changes so if you want to add more than 20 chapters what you need to do is go down here to chapter 20 you need to duplicate it and once you have duplicated it all you have to do is and you have to do this three times for each chapter you have to go into the small font and change this to say instead of 20 it'll say 21 the game font stays the same and then here all you have to change is table one you change the 20 right there to 21 that's all you have to do now a key here that I found is sometimes it's a game salad bug sometimes when I copy and paste this section it eliminates the space here between the table and the one and then that returns an error when I run it so always make sure it says table space one so once I have changed this to 21 so when game chapter equals 21 game font equals one and then the game table one is 21 I change that in the small font I change it in the medium font and I change it in the large font so then I'll have right here it'll say section 21 and then you can go to 22 23 24 again unlimited just make sure that you go back into the control and that you increase the control to the proper amount so that when you uh, when you arrow key forward it will recognize that so once you've changed the table and then you've changed the chapter text now the only thing left to do is to change the table of contents so when we go into the table of contents uh, I'll start off in table of contents 2 here uh, this is the most basic part of the template all you have here is each one of these actors is assigned to a specific field in your table so if I open up this should be the 20th uh, row on the table you'll see uh, that it says display text uh, game table 1 row 20 column 2 here's the font size and then when you click on this it changes the chapter to 20 and uh, it, it makes it go to the initial scene so that's what makes it so when you click on this it will go to the initial scene it'll show you only chapter 20 so if you're going to have less chapters then this is sim as simple as deleting these and even possibly de deleting this second table of contents page so if you have 15 chapters just delete these down to your 15 table of contents but if you have more you're going to go through the exact same process so if i need a chapter 21 then i'm going to copy this actor i'm going to paste it down here below and then i'm going to open it up and you'll see here i'm going to change the display text to now say table one row 21 i'm going to leave everything else the same and then i'm going to change this so that when it is touched you go game uh, game chapter 
to 21 and you still keep it with the initial scene and if you want 22 chapters then this will say 22 right here and this will say 22 and so on and so you can see uh, you can fill up uh, the second table of contents page the third table of contents page however you want to do it however many chapters or sections that you need now a couple of things about this template just a couple of final notes um, it's a little bit different on the Nook and the iPad, but I've found, uh, just with messing around with it, that the best number of words in each section is about 1,400 words, which means you may need uh, three sections to cover one chapter, which is why you can see in the table of contents, uh, I have, if I open this up, I have chapter five, showing section one section two section three uh, this isn't a bad way to set up an ebook anyway um, and you can remember you can go in here and you can change uh, each one of you can you can change the font so that the first chapter five is bold and then the second one is not bold uh, you can mess with the formatting all you want because you're just using the display text actors and uh, then the other thing that i will point out is that sometimes in the game salad viewer that I'm using here when I preview it this bottom menu uh, I couldn't get it to duplicate it here it will scroll all the way up the screen and then it will disappear on you this is a a game salad bug I believe uh, because I cannot get it to duplicate on the Nook or on the iPad so don't freak out if it does that when you're previewing it uh, I cannot get it to duplicate when it's on the actual device. If it does duplicate for you, please let me know and I'll see what we can do uh, to fix it. But again, this is just uh, a very elegant, simple way for an ebook. Uh, and then the other, only other thing I don't think I've shown you is how to actually change the name of the book. And that's just another table with one field it's book title. And you can see uh, right there, it just says my ebook. You just copy and paste into the field. It will automatically adjust graphic inside. So hopefully that answers all of your questions. Uh, if you have any other issues, you can contact me directly. Uh, I think there's a lot that can be done with this template. Uh, you can add your own backgrounds uh, that will change based upon the chapter number. Uh, you can add graphics, uh, sound. Uh, the one ebook I'm working on right now will actually have an option to play the audio of the book, uh, which again is real simple because each chapter just has a number and you're deciding what appears on the screen when it's that chapter number. So you can have whatever icons uh, that you want appear and have audio play at the same time. I'd right, hope you enjoy it. And uh, thanks for buying my ebook ebook template.